so hello everyone <clears throat> so welcome back to another new topic and i'm sure that this gives you a uh, very uh, better understanding about the topic that i'm going to tell you now you know these days i think i i can i can see that from last two weeks i have been asked a lot of questions about certification hub for a single attempt actually i have already posted a video on this long back few months back but even recently uh, sap has introduced uh, one more certification hub for a single attempt now in the training.sap.com you have uh, two certification hub links are available for a single attempt for many there are a lot of questions and they have confusions also i'll tell you what exactly major two three differences you can see with these uh, with these two certification hub for a single attempts sap has released the first thing is for example let us say in the search bar you are going to type here as a cer yes 01 you know if you see for example i am going to click on enter what the system will do now the system will open the product list here available cer yes yes stands for students not for everyone this is only valid for the people who are all students with a single attempt for example i am going to click on this link okay just observe everyone the uh, two three questions uh, which asked me which many asked me actually uh, similar questions actually that is the reason that i am going to post this video on my channel go and watch it now you see it is very clearly said that sap global certification online exam for students with a single attempt now what i'll do i will open one more tab for you this time i will type the word like cer001 click on enter now what is it saying sap global certification online exam one attempt i'm going to open this also this time what i will do um, let me minimize this window first I i'll try to minimize this window like two windows okay now this one is a one window i'll put this other one as a two windows are there carefully observe everyone okay no confusions nothing just let me put it like this right now you see this one sap global certification exam online exam one attempt and the other one sap global certification online exam for one attempt see i want to show you one major difference actually this one this exam anyone any individual from outside they can register but this one only the students from the reputed universities can apply this exam but when you apply here you don't need to submit any proof of uh, that you are a student nothing like that you can register but this one if you are registering with this you need to submit a proper a matriculate certificate from the authorized universities colleges otherwise you cannot use this but both are similar both are similar in nature but in, if you just scroll down to the you know the pricing area for example if it is a canadian dollar the student version it is only just 192 dollars if it is a everyone that who wants to register the price is 307 this is the major difference that you can see let us see it as for the indian version you know let us say if you are registering from india i'm going to select this on the other side also i want to open it and i want to change it to the country india okay so let us see what will be the pricing for the a student version single attempt and any one attempt for a single attempt now here on india so if you just see 
the indian currency it is coming with excluding tax 17915 so including tax it may come up to around 21000 something like that but if you look at this one this is just only excluding tax 11000 change including tax it may come up to 14000 around so this is a one of the major change people are facing some people are asking sir why i am getting only 11000 why i am getting is 21000 because of these two differences the code that you are using so suppose if you are a student what that you need to care take care about because i have already uploaded the video about sap global certification online exam for students on my youtube channel i don't need to explain about all the details similar things again and again but the major difference what which individual should choose which one you should go with the cr001 or you should go with the crs01 if in case if you are going with the crs01 then what is that precautions that you need to care take care for example so as a global certification online for exam for student is available to current students of higher academic institutions such as universities or colleges so sap will ask you for a matriculation document issued by the academic institution in case no document is submitted the service cannot be successfully registered so this is must and should but actually if you look at this audience the individuals who seek to prepare for a career in sap ecosystem so anybody can register the goals are same uh, the content is same subscription for 12 months one attempt 24 7 you can book it you are issued with the badges sap global badges so all are same these are the two major differences you should uh, uh, observe from these two exam code this is also single attempt this also a single attempt but this one is for students this one is for any individual and i'm sure that anyone next time is going to register for this sap global certification single attempt carefully observe which code you are going to select student or any individual depending upon the current situation you are in if you are a student you please submit a document and you can use it and you can also save some extra money but if you are not a student if you are just an individual you have to go with this cr001 not with the crs01 so and i'm sure that this clarification gives you a better understanding next time anyone who is watching this video helps you uh, with a better clarity which one you should choose and you need to register thank you so much for watching this video see you next time with uh, a new topic and uh, thank you so much bye everyone